Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, my name is Dana. I'm so glad you decided to stop by and hang out. Hopefully we can keep this like a permanent commitment. Maybe, maybe not. If you decide to hang out though, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, thanks so much. I love y'all. I really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be all about my drugstore must-haves. I've done a drugstore makeup kit before in the past. So if you guys are interested in that, try to come up with a nice stable makeup kit slash system for your collection and you're on a budget, definitely go ahead and check out that video. I will link it here. I've done a couple of drugstore like favorites and must-haves in the past, but Whoa, what was that? Do you guys ever forget that? Where it's like a hiccup and a burp almost all in one? Disgusting, I know. I apologize. I have some new products in here as well as ones that I have been using for forever now, but as a whole, these are products that have been in constant rotation, and I just felt like even if they've had a shout out before, they need an additional one just to be like, hey, don't forget, Dean told you to put this on your makeup shopping list because they're just really good products. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with hair products first, just because over on my Instagram stories, lately I have been getting a crap ton of DMs for requests to do a hair tutorial. Definitely going to be filming that sometime this week, so stay tuned. But a lot of these products are, well, no, they are products that I used in my hair today. So if you guys like this look, then you yourself can achieve it with these products. So I'm going to start off with tools first. I know when it comes to the curling iron game or curling wand game, there are so many like extra bougie ones out there. Ones that I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of like yearning for myself. Like the T3, every time during the Sephora VIB sale, I'm like, do I need this like curling wand? It just looks so good. So many people use it and their curls come out bomb. But honestly, I feel like if you end up getting the same diameter and your hair is good at holding a curl, you can really achieve the same look with budget friendly products. So the one that I've used the longest, like the curling iron that I have used since, I'm not gonna lie, even up until I think ninth to 10th grade, my mom was curling my hair for me because I could always curl the left side of my head, but for some reason the right side, I would always get it like twisted around or I'd get kinks in my hair. So mom, if you're watching this, I love you for taking care of my hair. But back in the day and to this present day, I have loved the Conair curling wands. You can find these at Target, Walmart, Ulta. I believe Target and Walmart have them for the cheapest. This is the one inch Conair curling wand and this is probably one of my favorites. I I believe this is like $8.99 at Target and I have had the same one I want to say for like five years now. The other one before that I had for well over like seven years. I am sounding so old right now. But whether you want to use this as a regular curling iron or if you just want to use it as a curling wand, all you have to do is hold the button up and just wrap your hair around. I've used the Numi wands, the Bellamy wands, the, what is it? It's like a guy's name. I can't think of it right now. I've used so many different curling wands, especially when I first started my channel, the amount of offers that I got for curling wands was constant. And for whatever reason, I was like, yes, I want them all. I want to try them all. I do still love them and I still have a lot of them. In fact, I still use my new me one often, but if you are on a budget, the Connor one will give you the exact same look. If you are on the hunt for a one inch curling iron or curling wand under 10 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it with Conair. Another one of my favorites from the drugstore is this Remington... I don't even remember the exact name of this. I know it goes from, I believe, an inch to an inch and a half. It's one of these cone-shaped barrels. Since I purchased this one maybe like three, four, possibly even five years ago, they've come out with other ones that are like a pearl finish, the titanium one. You can almost always find this guy under $25. I've seen it at CVS, Walgreens, Ulta, Target, Walmart. This is what I actually curled my hair with today, although ugh, I feel like the humidity kind of played me because right now I'm not exactly loving the look of it, but this overall type of wave I achieved with this curling wand here. Even when I had shorter hair, I love this just because you could concentrate your hair more on the more narrow end or you can bring it down here to the end. My general technique is that I just go in and I wrap my hair and I pretty much always leave anywhere from like an inch to three inches out like of the ends to leave it straight just because I prefer kind of that like undone beachy look, but these two are definitely my go-tos. I mean, they're from the drugstore, they're affordable, they're great, they've lasted me for ever. Okay, I do have three more hair products. These are actual styling products. One of my all-time favorite brands within the last maybe six, ish months. If you guys follow me on Instagram stories, I talked about this a while ago. This is from the brand Kristen S, which you can find at Target. I already know some people are going to be like, um, but Target isn't the drugstore. Honestly, Target prices are cheaper than Walgreens and CVS. So I'm still saying drugstore because in my mind, I feel like this is pretty much drugstore prices. Obviously, there are a little bit more like cheaper alternatives like Suave and Tresemme, but 
This product here performs just as well as so many of my higher end styling products. So this is the Kristen S Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. If you are fans of the Aura Bay Textured Mist or the um, what is it? The Bumble and Bumble Dry Spun Finish Spray. You will love this one. This one here is $14. Every now and then Target will have the line like buy one, get one 50% off or 10% off. I just love this one. Even on like freshly clean hair, I will still spray this in my hair just because I hate super fine, like flat, limp hair. I have to have texture in it because I have a big head. So when I have like a big head and straight hair, my head looks bigger. So I just like to have big hair and this product does it for me. Plus the scent is incredible and it lingers. The dry shampoo is just as good, but the dry finish working texture spray, this stuff is like amazing. And this bottle lasts you forever. I got this a little bit before Christmas and I use it almost every day and it just like, it gives you just extra body in there. See what I mean? So not only do you get body, but it just smells amazing. So that one, the dry shampoo, and then this guy here, if you've been with me for a while, excuse me, I'm getting too excited, I just spit. If you've been with me for a while, then I was like obsessed with the Big Sexy Hair, um, I believe it's called like the powder play, it was the texturizing powder. It's like half this size. I don't, although this could be deceiving, this says you get one ounce, I'm pretty sure you don't get an ounce in the other one. I believe this powder is $10. It does the exact same thing as the powder play. The only thing is, if you've never used a powder product before, you do have to be careful. So my favorite way to apply this, you can sprinkle it in your hands if you're a rookie, I would recommend that first, but I will just go in and kind of separate sections of my hair just like this, where I'm wanting like a little bit of extra volume. And then I will just get this and you'll just go in and like shake it like a salt shaker. Um, so I'll just go in and tap this just like this and then I'll flip my hair back over. You do apply this into dry hair. Great. That's going to look like I have dandruff. Then I will get my fingers in and just rake it and kind of push it upwards and it just gives you extra body. So if you have really, really fine limp hair, this will be your best friend. You just have to make sure that you don't go crazy with it because sometimes if you use too much, you end up getting the opposite effect because in a way it kind of like mats your hair, but by doing so, it just like holds that volume in there. Okay, so that is all that I have for hair care. I did have a couple of, well, I guess, really only two, but one general category of skincare products that I wanted to mention, and those are sheet masks. Now, when it comes to sheet masks, I'm pretty picky just because anytime my mom goes to Korea or if we go to the Korean store, I will pick up a hydrogel sheet mask and nothing beats those. The texture of them are just so much better than these kind of like fabric or, or tissue soaked um, sheet masks. It's almost like having a thin layer of like collagen gelatin on your face. I just feel like the way it absorbs into your skin is unlike any other. I think that, is it Tony Moly? One of these Asian brands in um, Ulta now, I know that there is a hydrogel sheet mask. These aren't hydrogel ones, these are just the normal like tissue masks, but these are still amazing. First up, I wanna talk about the brand Leaders. You can find these at, I don't remember if this was at Walmart in stores, but I know I've seen it online. In fact, this one, the Vita Brightening one, I think it's on sale for like three bucks right now on Walmart site, but you can definitely order these online at Walmart or at, um, why is it slipping my mind? Uh, Ulta, sorry. So the Vita Brightening, the Collagen Boosting, and the Aqua Ringer Treatment Masks are my favorite. If you are really, really oily or acne prone, there is a tea tree one that is amazing to kind of like help with oil control. But if you could just feel these packets, the amount of essence in these is insane. It's like an aqua bomb. It feels so good on your skin. So whenever we're just like doing Netflix, that, that sounds so dirty. Not like Netflix and chill, but just regular Netflix. I'll pop one of these on and like 25 to 30 minutes later, I'll pull it off and then I'll just kind of rub it down my neck because you will have so much extra, I guess, essence, right? If you use cream skincare, you know what I'm talking about, where you can just like bring it all the way down to your chest. I mean, they are just packed with product. These are amazing. Another drugstore one that I do like, but not quite as much as Leaders, but I'm pretty sure that this one is a little bit more affordable than Leaders if you can't find the Leaders ones on sale. These are from Garnier. They're the Garnier Skin Active. I have the Moisture Balm. I don't like the charcoal one. I feel like that one's definitely more for like detox and if you have more oily skin. But this one, the Super Hydrating Mask Glow Boosting, I love this one. This is a product where I feel like 
it could be my mind, but I swear in the morning after I use this, I do look more like glowy and radiant. Overall, sheet masks, they're so easy to incorporate into your skincare routine, and I feel like they really do make a big difference, especially if you're someone who's like really lazy with moisturizer and a full-on skincare routine. Pop on a sheet mask. Do yourself a favor. Your skin will thank you, so both of these I like, but if I could only get one... And go with the leaders. Okay, now moving on to makeup. I only have a couple of products here because I've mentioned so many other drugstore favorites in the past. Once like more and more drugstore releases come out, then I'm sure I will do another updated one, but definitely check out my last drugstore must-haves video, or I guess drugstore favorites, as well as that drugstore makeup kit that I mentioned. This, however, is a new refine. Clearly, I've been loving them because I only have one pair left, plus these ones. Unfortunately, the other two, I'm like kind of disgusting when it comes to lashes and I just like peel them off and then I forget where I put them and then like I'll be doing dishes and find one on the bottom of a mug and it always scares me because I think it's a spider but it's just a lash. Okay, who cares about that story? These are from Kiss. It's their new blowout lash series. I purchased mine from Walgreens. Kind of want to kick myself because I'm pretty sure they were like two to three dollars cheaper at Ulta but I was like in a bind and I needed them now. So I picked up this pair here. It's the Pixie style. It just says next gen wispy. Anytime I buy strip lashes, these are the type of lashes that I go for. If you take a close up look, there is no actual like black band on there. It's just an invisible band. So it's super, super flexible on the eye, especially if you have hooded eyes, then you wanna be even more careful with strip lashes because you really wanna make sure you're not taking up like any more of your lid real estate because clearly we only have so much to work with to begin with and we're not wanting to give that away with a strip lash. So these are normally the styles that I always go for. Something that kind of has this like gappy, wispy style and something with an invisible band. It is the lash that I have on right now. These as well as the, honestly, I would have featured the other ones too if I had a pair left, but I have not been able to find them anywhere. I need to order some online. In fact, I think Ulta is doing a sale right now where they're like half off, but it's the Ardell Studio Fax Demi Wispy style. If you have hooded eyes or like eye shapes similar to mine, those are so, so flattering because they kind of start off shorter and then they just gradually get longer and create this kind of like cat eye effect. This is a product I feel like I have not heard anybody talk about. I actually received this one as PR from Catrice Cosmetics. It is the Volumizing Lip Balm. And I don't know about you, but the packaging is very reminiscent to the um, Dior Lip Maximizer, Volumizer, something like that. It is kind of the same concept, but in an actual like solid balm form instead of like the liquid type of balm it gives you that same like minty tingly effect and it's just super pretty it's just very i mean honestly it's sheer but you have the slightest bit of this like nudie pink tint i have been slathering the mess out of my lips with this in fact i do have it on my lips right now i went in with where is it so i thought i brought it here um it was the CoverGirl melted pout lipstick in ballerina i put that on and then i just like rubbed this all over my lips if you guys have been curious about the new covergirl releases i did an entire video swatching and demoing kind of a tutorial on all those products that i'll go ahead and link here but yeah i'm wearing ballerina with this on top i've been keeping this in my purse i love it it is so good i'm pretty sure it's like under five dollars and a lot of the time ulta will have catrice buy one get one half off so if you're looking for a nice good lip balm topper. Definitely check out this guy here. All right, speaking of CoverGirl, this has been a product that just really stuck out for me. I've been using it every day since testing out these products. It is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. It's just an eyeshadow primer. I'll definitely be repurchasing this whenever I finish it. Honestly, I don't feel like there are too many drugstore options when it comes to eyeshadow primers. I know there's like the L'Oreal Crease It or Decrease, and I'm sure like NYX has some now too, but this guy here is so good. It doesn't really add any sort of like pigmentation to your lids, but the tackiness it has is amazing. It's not like sticky to where if you blink, you know, like your eyelids stuck to like your brow bone, but it just really holds on to whatever shadow you're wearing. I mean, honestly, there's not too many other things you can say about eyeshadow primer besides the fact that it does its job and this is one that does its job. So yeah, if you're on the hunt for a eyeshadow primer mm -hmm. at the drugstore, definitely check out this one. I really, really think you would like it. This is the Flower Beauty Beauty Sponge. I, or beauty, yeah, beauty sponge, right? Cause I mean, beauty blender, I'm pretty sure it's trademarked. Um, I've been using this more than my beauty blender, more than my real technique sponge, more than my eco, oh wait, I don't have the eco tools one, do I? I don't know, I can't remember, but basically this is the only sponge that I've been using clearly because mine is dirty. This guy retails for $8 and it, it is amazing. It gets huge. It's kind of shrunk down a little bit. 
Um, it does get a little bit bigger than this, but the texture is amazing. I love how round the butt is. Then you do have this nice like flat pointed side as well. So you can get right onto your under eyes and blend out your concealer, but it's an amazing sponge and it's eight bucks, maybe $8.99. Either way, it's under $10. It is so, so good. So this is one that I would highly, highly recommend checking out. So yeah, those are my drugstore must-haves. Let me know some of your must-haves down below. Share with the class. Don't be greedy with your favorites because we all like to keep it budget-friendly. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, it's fun to have like some splurge-worthy products, but these are just amazing products that won't break the bank. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And if you did want to check out that CoverGirl video I mentioned, you can go ahead and click right here and check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I mean, we've already hung out for this long. Let's go ahead and go in for that second date. And yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.